Hey everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create this aqua tower building in Revit. Uh, so first things first is to let's jump into the Revit and open up conceptual messing. This is the way how I will create this cool building facade. And uh, let's go to the conceptual mess and let's open this up. <clears throat> uh, so first things first is if you look at the picture, uh, you can see that we have tons of floors and actually um, conceptual massing is a go-to for these situations because by using splines we can create maybe if you have 20 floors we can create on the on the first one at the if you have like in total 20 floors we'll create on the first on the tenth and on the last one so we will create three splines we'll connect them and then we will just create floors by these splines. Uh, so I found, uh, actually I've downloaded uh, a plan for this building. So here I have it, oops. Uh, if you go with Aqua, oops. Here I have this picture. I can drag it over here and I could place it somewhere over here. So here, here we go, we have a plan for this building. And um, <clears throat> if you wanna make it bigger, like you can always scale it, I'm gonna be using the shortcut RE. So you can scale it from here to here and make it maybe like, if you want to make it like maybe 20 meters. Oops, it, it was 20 millimeters. So from here to here and let's type 20 meters. There we go. So now, as you can see, we have our, so if you look at the picture, we have our, our uh, curtain wall facade and we have these floors. So we will carve out that part. So I'm just gonna be creating a rectangle for this. And around this rectangle, we will create these splines. So I will create maybe a floor of four if you go with level, I, I've used the shortcut double L. So uh, you can you can click on your keyboard uh, double L and is the shortcut for levels. And you can go with peak lines and go with maybe go with like mm, five meters and place it. Not even five. Go with fifteen meters. Yeah. So one, two, three. Yeah, nice. So we'll create a spline over here, a spline over here, over here, and over here, and then we'll join this. So if you go to level one, you can go to the model or to the ref reference. Uh, in this situation, it doesn't matter. So we can go with spline through points and we can follow, uh, actually let's start from here. We can follow this path. So you can go like this. And create it the goal is to understand this so in future you will see this similar pictures because uh, there are a lot of buildings that are creating that way like a lot of wacky facades so the objective of that video of this video is to just show you that it's not that difficult in Revit to create so let's go like this like this and uh, the important thing to remember is to that here and let's create something like this on the end it's way much better you're not you're uh it's going to be really difficult for you to it's impossible a rabbit will give you a pop-up message that there are identical points in the same place so the only way is to actually if you go back um, okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. Now I'm not sure if that that is going to create a form. Actually, is going to create. I think no, unable to form. So this this is the main reason why you shouldn't use this part. So uh, we can delete this. Yeah, we can delete these points and now go to model 
and just join this uh, I didn't join this let's go with model again and you can hit the tab key to kind of select this part yeah there we go so if you go to the 3d as you can see you have your spline and now uh, we can even create a form out of this for now so let's create a form go to the south elevation and let's create a south elevation to hit in the south elevation to the uh, to our level now let's select our splines go with uh, <coughs> con uh, copy to clipboard and paste it to the uh, selected level and go with the second one so and that'll be here and what we need to do is to select all of these and hide them the main reason being so they won't interfere with these ones that are on the second level and you won't mess up so you can go here and go with hide element and uh, now you can make some tweaks i don't want to get bothered with like like to create some drastic changes to make some drastic drastic changes but we can make some tweaks to that you can select these points when you have this gizmo and by by hitting on these points you can easily kind of modify their position uh, be careful with this part so they um, so this thing won't break I'm not gonna touch that because just to make it more like to not have another hurdle on our way so let's place it here let's make it here uh, See, we can play around with this a little bit yeah like this and do the same trick for like again go to the second level select and select your uh, select your spline go to copy the clipboard paste to selected levels and go to the third one there we go now again don't forget to select this one go to the level one and hide this and now you can work with this and again let's make some tweaks to this maybe let's move it here let's move it here here so you can you can try even to replicate but um, I'm not suggest uh, you do that because it's gonna be it's gonna take a lot of time and um, mm, I don't think it's it's, it's that useful to try to replicate your goal is to just understand how it can be created so this to here maybe to here there we go I'm perfectly fine with this and again select this go to control uh, copy the clipboard and paste the selected levels and go to the fourth one there we go and uh, don't forget to select the spline go to level one hide this element and uh, work with this now let's move it a little bit pronounced let's make this and uh, if you have if you find yourself in a situation when uh, you, when it's difficult for you to kind of select that point you can always use tab key on your keyboard so if you kind of hover over it you can click the tab key, uh, click the tab key and it's gonna make it easier for you move it here let's go and make some tweaks over there like this and like this move it here we can even go here inside of our building yeah we can yeah, I thought it, 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 it's going to be even better to do this, like to go a little bit past to our building. So let's create something like this. Yeah. Maybe move it inside a little bit, just a tad. And over here. It's not that difficult to slam dunk these kind of projects in Revit, so uh find some pictures on the internet and try to replicate something else even maybe there are tons of buildings with uh, wacky shapes 
so yeah there we go we have created this now we can select all of this like go one two three four go with create form wait for a minute and there you go you have some wacky shape now you can actually actually to be on the safe side i want that to be here I'm, I'm hitting the tab key again to select what i need to and then you can just select the whole uh, form and uh, turn that into a void there we go so now we have a void now is the time to load this into the project so uh, let's go to the file new project uh, metric architectural template go with ok and let's load that in load into project close and place it somewhere over here for example let's wait for a minute there we go so we have a mess our goal is to like first of all what you can do is to create this curtain facade it's really easy here you can go here with wall but i recommend using recommend to use shortcuts always so w a uh, and uh, here you can find for example storefront but yeah you can create this but you're gonna have some troubles like if you create you, let's place it here we needed to create a lot of levels firstly so go to the south elevation and i'm gonna be going with levels so and uh, let's say that the height of my level i want that to be maybe three meters for example you can go with levels i'm going to be hitting the shortcut ll and um or what you can do you can select that level and go with array click I a r on your keyboard and go with to the second let's go with three meters and let's say i want to have maybe like 20 of them no 20 is way too much maybe 15 yeah 15 is perfectly working and you can select all of this and ungroup them let's wait for a minute uh, the shortcut for okay you can what do you need to do is to select is to do this cross selection go to the filter and uh, just check model groups and ug is the shortcut for ungrouping or you can find it here there we go so now what we need to do is to yeah now we can easily select our current wall and uh, change the top constraints to our 16th uh our last level wait for a minute <coughs> yeah and now you can select your mass so you need to select your mass you can go with um, mass floors and uh, select the first one then uh, hold on the shift key and select the last one and then you can select all of them there we go let's wait for a minute now you have all of your floors as you can see and now what you can do is to but it's it's just a mass it's not uh floor it's just a mess so you need to go to messing inside you need to go to floor and you need to do this cross selection and then go with create floor so you can go with create floor and there we go so i think that was i've created floors create floor yeah let's wait for a minute okay then now you can uncheck this show mask and there we go i think there's an overlapping or not you can delete this yeah there was an overlapping so there we go we have this cool facade you can go with realistic view you can uh, work a little bit with materials so if you want to make this white you can go and change the material to some paint maybe let's go with clad white for example And there we go we have some white material you can play around with this but there we go that's how we can get 
this aqua tower building in Revit. Uh, so I hope you like this video. I'm going to be doing a lot of tutorials about um, massing because I think that it's uh, such a cool thing to know in Revit because it gives you a lot of opportunities. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, uh, leave a comment below and uh, have a nice day.